Hi everyone, this is Dr. Rukmani Chaudhary and you are watching Dr. Rukmani's Health Update. My today's topic is cystocele, that is bladder prolapse, bladder herniation or anterior vaginal wall prolapse. So in today's video, I will be talking everything about cystocele, that what is this condition and why this happens. Who are at higher risk, the risk factors part, the causes, sign or symptoms of cystocele, management, prevention, how you can prevent this condition. Treatment in allopathy, best effective homeopathy medicine. So I requested to watch complete video for coming information. If you're watching first time, please like, share, and subscribe my channel for the further notification. So let's start. Cystocele uh, is the kind of condition that is, you know, the kind of prolapse, bladder prolapse. So bladder that holds your urine. So the part of the bladder it descends down, it falls down in the vagina, into your vagina, huh? anterior vaginal wall. So that's why it is also called anterior vaginal wall prolapse or bladder fall down, dropping of bladder or bladder herniation. Now what are the causes and why this condition happened? What are the causes, risk factors? So this usually occurs after multiple vaginal deliveries. Talk about the pelvic See, pelvis is the part of your lower abdominal region. This is called like pelvis and there are pelvic organs and these are connected or they are supported with some muscles, muscular structures or some ligaments. So if due to any reason, due to any, you know, cause or if any there is an injury or any weakening or there is a, you know, damaging of these ligaments or muscles, the time these organs can displace, these organs can prolapse, your bladder can prolapse, can fall down into your vagina multiple vaginal deliveries means childbirth vaginal childbirth are blamed and uh, if there is any kind of straining any kind of pressure on these pelvic floor muscles any kind of pressure this can be due to chronic cough persistent chronic cough and chronic constipation if you are having constipation and that is from a longer time so this again puts you on high risk of having these like cystocele kind of problem even during pregnancy, after delivery, after childbirth, multiple vaginal deliveries and uh, yes, there are uh, injuries if there is any kind of injuries huh? or uh, the risk factors part if you are obese like kind of genetics at times it is seen in the family during your menopause or after menopause you have because your estrogen drop downs and dropping down of the estrogen causes the weakening, weakening of the pelvic floor muscles obviously your bladder can drop down and can prolapse. So these are the causes and the risk factors. In terms, they depend whether your case is a mild one, moderate one or severe one. This is also called the grading of the cystocele and the grade one, grade two and grade three. Grade one is the mild one when some part of your uh, bladder, uh, you know, drops down or fall down into your vagina, some part, short part only. Then this is like mild one and the grade one. And the grade 2 and the moderate one, when your part of the bladder descend down to the vaginal opening, to the vaginal opening, huh? only up to the vaginal opening, then this is called moderate one. And the severe one and the grade third one is when your bladder passes through your vagina, means you can even feel and you can even see the part of bladder. There's something is there in your vagina. You can even feel and you can even see. So that, that is called the grade 3 and the severe one and that needs you know the surgical uh, reconstruction or the passage and the symptoms part usually if the cases are the mild one moderate one there is no major symptom it is not life threatening you are not having pain this is just a discomfort feeling the pressure feeling the heaviness feeling abnormal feeling and obviously uh, this is like a psychological discomfort as well and uh, this uh, you know affect women's psychology that this can be the feeling there can be pressure feeling all the time in the vagina and there is a fullness feeling and there is a discomfort and there is a frequent urging of urination. If the part of the bladder is descend down in the vagina and it is not complete voiding, huh? there is a no complete voiding of the bladder, some urine remain inside and that can create infection even. So if that create infection, so you can have infection symptom as well. Diagnosis part, how we diagnose the condition, what are the tests required? See, if the case is moderate or severe one, it can be uh, examined by you know the physical examination or vaginal examination the diagnosis can be done by looking through that you are having this moderate one or the severe one and uh, if uh, there is like uh, any other symptoms so there can be other symptoms like we have to check the urodynamics urodynamics is a kind of test that measures you know the bladder's ability 
to uh, you know emptying the bladder or holding the urine and release the urine so how it holds the urine and how to release the urine so this is called urodynamics so this, this can be done and this is that is cystoscopy or cysto urethroscopy can be done so by that there is a small tube is inserted and everything is looked upon that everything is visualized that what's happening inside whether there is any kind of blockage any kind of growth any kind of obstruction in allopathy treatment in homeopathy so treatment in allopathy see it depends again the grade of the uh, cystocele the grade of your uh, bladder prolapse is what grade you are having so if it is mild or moderate when if you are not having that much symptoms so you don't even even require the treatment part if you manage your lifestyle and there is a, a kegel exercise there is a pelvic floor a muscles exercise so you can manage easily with these kind of exercise and uh, medicines but if it is a case of severe one if there is a you know the constant uh, discomfort constant pain and if it is uh, associated with other infection so in that case you have to see your doctor and even your treatment can be like uh, you can even given passages and uh, you can even uh, there can be the recommendation of uh, you know the reconstructive surgery so everything is placed over there at their positions ha huh? why because uh, in this case this social case your bladder is not at its position it descends down ha huh? it displays these reconstructive surgeries can be done in severe or critical cases not in the mild or moderate one three procedures of uh, the surgery. the best effective homeopathy medicine for cystocele cystocele a kind of bladder prolapse and carb uh, urinary symptom as well so i have uploaded videos on uterine prolapse so medicines are almost similar to the uterine prolapse why because this is again a kind of prolapse and this is again this is a anterior vaginal wall prolapse ha huh? so you are having fullness you are having uh, you know pressure feeling so on symptomatic basis you can use medicines and these medicine gets changed with every case so don't buy all the medicine if you are watching on youtube i'll be giving all the medicines link in the description box below you can buy medicine according to your symptom your case that what is your case uh it can be due to overweight obesity it can be due to con persistent chronic constipation it can be due to persistent chronic cough if you are allergic and it can be due to like uh, heavy weight lifting so there can be different causes and it can be even after multiple vaginal birth multiple vaginal delivery so we have to find out that cause in homeopathy and accordingly you can choose you can select your medicine it is very effective medicine even in uterine prolapse cases cp has given frequently and it is very good very top remedy almost in every kind of prolapse like you are having uterine prolapse you are having bladder prolapse and you are having fullness sensation and the female has you know uh, the abnormal vaginal discharge and there is a itching and there is it, it is usually given either after deliveries or during your menopause time period so if you have hot flashes your menopausal time is there so in that case you can use cpr this is like bigger quantity and this is the company's color so company's color can differ and even you can is buy smaller quantity and this is in the liquid form so you can buy medicine even in the pills form this can be given to you so cpr can be used with the help of dropper one or two drops direct on tongue for having your meal twice thrice in a day and regularly with the help of exercise you are supposed to uh, do kegel exercise that you know that gives you strength that gives you you know support to your pelvic floor muscles so along with the exercise if you are using medicine you have maximum benefit maximum and benefit of the treatment helium tignum is given when you have there is a frequent urging of passing stool frequent urging of passing urine so if there is a frequent urging of urine and frequent urging of stool so you can take helium tignum again with the help of dropper one or two drops and you don't have to buy all the medicine you don't need all the medicine ha huh? just understand your case and your history just find out calcarea carb so calcarea carb is given when there is a history of heavy weight lifting so she has been like uh, there is a frequent uh, you know heavy weight lifting it is a case of uh, so in that case you can take calcarea carb again with the help of dropper one or two drops direct on tongue or cystagaria you have heard about its uh, indication in honeymoon cystitis or cystitis means bladder infection only really effective in cystocele cases where you have frequent urging again there is a frequent urging of urination so in that case you can take stephesagaria associated with infection so restox is given if it is after an injury after an trauma injury so if it is a case of like uh, has to see after injury any kind of trauma any kind of injury so in that case you can take restox and post operative so if this happens even after operation after hysterectomy and you have cystocele so in that case even you can take stephesagaria and somica is given when there is a frequent urging of passing a stool and there is a 
uh, you know unsatisfactory stool means you have sensation that some stool is remain inside and you have to go again and again there is a frequent dust so if it is a case of like the articulation they can be frequent arising of passing the stool and the other medicines depending on like there can be calendula there can be causticum so these medicines they in homeopathy they like uh, we have to check the patient's individual case what are affected and then we have to select your medicine so hopefully this video can give you some amount of help if you find this video knowledgeable and subscribe my channel for the further notifications thank you for your time thank you for watching keep watching keep supporting thank you so much